Hi, how's it going? I'm Anna Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, <clears throat> okay, so we are going to be trying to vlog a little bit in the bedroom. Um, see how that works with sound quality and lighting and stuff like that. Obviously, as you guys know, recently moved, now homeowner, trying to get flat, nice and sorted and stuff like that. So um, there may be a little bit of jumping around and trying to work out where the best location for doing this is. Um, a lot of factors are going to, to tie into that, uh, things like making sure that there's decent lighting, um, making sure that the sound isn't too echoey, etc, etc, etc. So this one and the next one, uh, because I like to sort of film them in twos, um, will be done in here and then I'll be able to sort of compare the difference, <laughs> as it were. So, right, with that said, uh, let's get on to today's topic, which is, I believe, uh, being single is not a bad thing, which is what I set up at the end of the last one. Um, <clears throat> so, for those of you who followed my vlog for a little while, you'll know that I've made reference um, a few times to the fact that I am currently single, um, that I started doing this whole vlog experience um, shortly after moving out, after splitting from my last partner, um, and it's now been just over two years, but I've been single, and in that time I have published a couple of books. <laughs> Um, I've started this vlog channel, um, and I have also purchased my first home. Um, so some of those things obviously don't make a difference whether I was single or not. Um, I think the greatest accomplishment that I have managed, um, in terms of, of being a single person alone is in fact buying this, this flat. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why I kind of want to sort of do this topic. I'm not necessarily advocating for being a permanent singleton, um, but I am very much of the opinion at this point in my life that either I will fall into another relationship or I won't fall into another relationship. And I don't see why either option should hinder me from doing all the things that I want to do with my life. So I'm just going to go ahead and do those things. Um, which, as you probably guessed, includes uh, becoming a homeowner, doing a flat, um, and various things like that. So, for me, at this point in my life, being single is not a bad thing, and I'm doing my best not to let all the people out there who think, you know, maybe it's time I should be looking to get into another relationship make me feel pressured into doing so, because I don't see any reason why I need to be in another relationship at this point. Um, and it's not a case of not necessarily being over the ex. Um, yes, there are still some hurt feelings there. Um, but I have had some brief flings and I've tried a little bit of dating since then. And I've just, yeah, it's more a case of I'm just not interested in it at this point in time and you know especially with my health being as bad as it was last year um i feel you know taking care of my own needs and taking care of my you know prioritizing myself is probably the best way forward for me and, and of course you know if tomorrow somehow found the person of my dreams and you know hit it off with them and everything else like that then that's fine. I'm, you know, I'm not objecting to being in another relationship. I'm just saying I don't need to be in another relationship. And I think, you know, this societal expectation that we seem to still have that, you know, people need to be in a relationship isn't necessarily a healthy one because there are lots of things that people can do and accomplish, um, lots of life goals that you can set yourself and still achieve being on your own um, 
and yes, companionship is is nice, and you know, it's it's something that you shouldn't be completely pushed away if the opportunity happens to arise. And you know, I'm not saying that I would you know choose to be single or being in a relationship if it was the right relationship. I'm just saying that I don't need to be in a relationship at this point in my life. And I don't think that is a bad thing. I think if I can achieve all the things that I want to achieve, if I can do all the things that I want to do and I can do them without being in a relationship, then why shouldn't I be doing them? Why shouldn't I be, you know, living the life that I want to live on my own terms, you know, for as long as it's just me and enjoying it just being me and the freedom of, you know, not having to rely on anybody else and not having to you know make decisions based on somebody else's wants and needs because I'm the type of person who will quite often put my own needs and my own wants on hold for the person I'm in a relationship with because I prioritize them um and I think you know for now for this point in my life actually I need to to, to prioritize me I need to you know, focus on on what I want to do and and the things that I want to achieve. And if I can achieve those things better on my own, um, then I should. And, you know, I am. (laughs) Um, And, you know, as I said, like I said, like I keep saying, and and this is one thing I do, do actually genuinely say to people, it's, you know, if the right person comes along and I happen to meet them and yeah, that's fine. But I'm highly introverted. I find it difficult connecting with people as it is. Uh, most of the relationships that I have been in have been with people that I have been friends with first and I've just happened to fall into that relationship in the times that where it hasn't worked that way. I have been introduced to that person um, through a friend or whatever else and I'm, I'm not a highly social person. I don't go out and make the opportunities to meet people and I've tried um, dating sites and I've tried online dating and I just I just don't get on with it or I end up in situations that I would really rather not have ended up in because of it Um, so it's it's a case of I wouldn't say necessarily my personality makes it difficult for me to meet people that's unfair I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with my personality I think I've got quite a nice personality um I think it's more a case of the fact that I am highly introverted and do find it difficult to make connections with people that means that I don't put myself in the situations where I'm likely to meet the people who you know I might spark it off with or, or whatever else and I've kind of accepted that I'm probably going to end up being single for a while. Um, So I can either resent that fact, I can obsess about that fact, or I can go, you know what, it's just the way things are. It's not going to stop me from living my life. Um, And that's the option that I'm trying very hard to, to go with. And it's, and it's an option that I'm actually very happy with um and I think again that says a lot about my personality um and and the way I sort of view life and the, the way I sort of feel about life it's you know it's a case of I want to live the life that I want to live and if I happen to be in a relationship whilst I'm living that life great if I'm on my own whilst I'm living that life great it shouldn't make a difference because at the end of the day as long as I am happy that's the most important thing and right now right at this point in my life knowing that there is very little stopping me from accomplishing all the things I want to accomplish apart from maybe my own introversion (laughs) Um, and my own concerns about pushing myself out there um, yeah I very much think and I very much feel that I am at this point in time as happy with my life as I can be and I don't feel the need to be in a relationship at all. Um, as I said, if you know, I might tomorrow somehow meet the person that would make me change my mind about that. And if I do, fantastic. I'm not going to argue. Um, 
but if I don't, then I don't, and I don't expect to, um, and I don't feel like there's anything wrong with me being single. Um, I do find it a little bit annoying that other people do think there's something wrong with me being single. Um, I don't know if for them it's a little bit of an age thing and whether I would feel this much pressure if I was slightly younger. Um, and, and I know that's like a, a weird thing to sort of say, but I think other people get more concerned about, you know, me being single in my early 30s than I feel concerned about because, you know, getting old, body clock, all that kind of thing. And it's just like, well, no, I'm perfectly happy being single right now. And being single isn't going to stop me from achieving all the things that I want to achieve not even starting a family if I want to go down that route and that's my choice if I want to go down the route of becoming a single parent from the offset however I decide to go about it that is my choice and that's not anybody else's choice it doesn't affect anybody else's life but mine um so you know in theory, I do not need to be in a relationship to achieve any of the things that I want to achieve out of life. And I'm, I'm already proving that. I'm sitting in the proof of that right now. Um, but I know that people are still going to judge me for it because the idea of anyone, especially a woman being happy being single and being able to achieve uh doing that just even in this day and age people don't seem to like it <laughs> people don't seem to think that it's normal um but it is it completely is and you know for all the single people out there whether you're male female or anything in between because you know Gender is an entire spectrum, and as it should be, um, I, I really do genuinely believe there is nothing wrong with being single. If you are single and you are happy and you are still doing all the things you want to be doing in your life, good on you, because so am I. <laughs> but likewise, if you happen to be in a couple and you're happy and you're achieving all the things you want to do in life, good for you too. I'm, you know, I not resent anybody who's in a happy relationship. Uh, just as I would not, you know, feel sorry for anybody who was happy and single. If you're single and you're unhappy, that's a different story. If you, you're single and you really want to be in a relationship, you know, that's fine. Find somebody who's going to make you happy and accomplish that for yourself. Um, but don't, you know, assume that everybody who is single wants to be in a relationship right now. I'm happy being single. I'm happy achieving all the things that I want to achieve on my own. And I genuinely don't feel like I need a relationship at this point in my life. But as I do keep saying, because I'm not, I'm trying to avoid being hypocritical, <laughs> I think. Um, if, you know, I, if tomorrow or next week or next month, I happen to bump into the person who is going to make me happy for the rest of my life. I'm not going to argue with that. You know, at the end of the day, my own happiness is the most important thing. And if I'm happy being single and I'm always going to be single, that's fine. If I'm happy right now being single, then that's fine. And if I meet somebody and I'm happy with them, that's also fine. It should all be fine. Because it is. Because that's how the world should work um and that's you know something I sort of genuinely genuinely do feel so yeah <laughs> so however you are whether you're single whether you're in a relationship I wish you guys all to be happy with the situation that you're in or if you're not finding a way of becoming happier with the situation that you have through whatever means that happens to take. All right, okay. <laughs> um, so next vlog, I want to go back to talking about 
never eaten um, and the books that I'm writing and stuff like that. The reason being, I'm a homeowner now, so I need to start promoting myself as a writer a little bit more. Um, so I do apologise for all of you guys that who are absolutely sick of me talking about Never Ate and I hope, I'm hoping that I've managed to find some amalgamation of a topic that might make things fresh and more interesting or whatever else, but you know, if I'm going to be serious about being the happiest and being the best me that I can be, then I need to seriously get my writing career on the track that I want it on and you know that means talking about my writing career and what I'm doing in my writing and, and all that exciting kind of jazz. So um, with that said, hope you guys have enjoyed this one um, I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one and I will see you guys next time. See ya! <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!